Hey there, it's Crafty Jennabug. So I think today I want to make some little things to go inside the pockets of the junk journals. Um, I played around with a few ideas and I have this pack of, I have this one and I have a primary colors. I've got these two packs of card stacks is what they're called and it is scored paper and you can't see it on that one you can see it better on this one it's scored so that you can fold it easily to make a card but that's not what I want to do with them I want to make inserts for pockets so these are actually speckled, in fact I want to get one of the speckled ones, I don't know why it ends, that might be fun. And what I like to do is cut these in half along the score line so that I have two um, same size pieces that I can then decorate just to have on hand when I'm looking for something to put in a pocket. That's what I'm doing today. If you want to see more of that, then keep watching, because that's what we're doing. And we'll use a variety of different things um, to make them. In fact, let me get my two examples. So here are my two examples. This one, I just used paper and some washi tape flowers and just kind of collaged all over it, cut out this um, phrase really close, it says stay curious, and just, I don't know, it feels complete to me now, but it's a little something to tuck into a pocket, should I so desire. And then there's this one, which I feel is missing a sentiment, I might put something down here, um, haven't decided what yet, so I'll work on that. But this one, I used a few more things, I've got the paper, obviously, on the blue, the primary blue color. And then I took, I have this, I don't know where I stuck it, but it is a piece of book page that I was doing watercolor and as I needed to clean my brush I just kind of scribbled it over the page. And so there's little pops of color, there's a little bit of yellow here. Um, some orange and so it just it, it's pretty much like scribble watercolor on a book page and I ripped out some shapes from it and glued them down this one kind of looked like a heart then I took some different funky yarns I have this one back here is this I'm not sure what it's called it's a no boundaries yarn, but it's very strange. It has these, oh, come on, are you, gonna, are you focusing on it? Awesome. It has like these parts that are really soft and cottony and then like filamented. So I just cut off a chunk of that and stuck it on the heart. And I also used some eyelash yarn that I had some spare of, and I found the pink was almost identical to this. So I cut off a chunk of the pink and purple, squished it up, glued it down, and then found two buttons that kind of went with and stuck them in there. I think I might put love as a sentiment on there. Right, let me do that right now. While well, I'm thinking about it. I printed out, I typed up a bunch of random words and printed them out so that I had things, I really liked this font, words and quotes to put on junk journal things. I just kind of spaced them out a few times between and different fonts. And I'm gonna use some of those. I think I'll use this love here. So just a little something, a little something something to uh, 
use just to have some sentiments ready. I'm not trying to like rush and stamp in the moment, things like that. Although you could very well rush and stamp in the moment. I chose love because this one is shaped like a heart. Actually, I think I'll just stick it right there. Thought about putting it so that it was over that, but I think I'm just gonna stick it right there. It's easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now I feel like this one is complete. Bam. Done. And that gave me two things just to have ready whenever I'm making a page. and be like, oh, this looks kind of like it. This fits the theme, whatever. And they are ready to roll. So I'm going to gather some more materials, mainly my scrap box and a few other things, and then we'll get working on these. All right, first things first, I need to cut these the size I want them. I mean, I could technically have a little folding thing go in, which I may do in another, at another time. Right now, I want to stick with this. And this video is pretty much just going to be a, hey, play along with me while I craft, you know, or come with me while I craft kind of deal. I got these. This one is a light grayish blue. These are speckled. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, they're speckled and that's really cool. I think I should focus on one at a time. All right, so this guy, gotta pick a color scheme. Um, let's see. All right, I'm gonna pick a color scheme off camera just so I'm not wasting your time and my battery. And then I'll be back once I've figured out what the heck I'm doing. All right, I think I've figured out what I'm gonna do with this first one. I really like these flowers and I'm thinking about putting them across the top. Some of them, not all of them, obviously. And then I've got this. This is very like watercolor is what it's saying to me. And I think I might put that down at the bottom like this, with this at the top. And I found this little thing, and it is really sweet. And it would make a really cute, like, middle journal-y card section. I also found some words. Little, this is a, like a fairy tale, of aged fairy tale story. This one is really, Thin, or this one is really faint, but the color is close to some of the other neutral tones I got going on. And then I found these green, looks like newspaper clippings, and I thought that would be a nice little pop. So I'm not sure which of these I'm going to use, if any, at the moment, but I know for sure I want these three elements. So that's where I'm going to start. And I don't I like the speckled nature of this paper, so I don't want to cover it all up, but I do want to add a lot of interest. So I might just use this piece down here. I haven't decided yet, but I want to start with these flowers across the top. And I guess I need to figure out, I guess I'll just cut here and see how that goes. All right, let's just get to, get to pulling around. I'm thinking too much.
like it better this way. And I think I will do a little something like that. Although that brown seems out of place. Hmm. A little too much, maybe? That gets kind of lost. But if I put this green right on top of that green, that's going to be too much. So, I think that is the winner. I hadn't put down my protective mat, so I don't get glue all over my desk. It's important. feel like this needs something. My daughter said it doesn't, but I don't know. I might just round the corners when it's completely dry and call it good. I like it. It's cute. I like that you can see a little bit of the speckled paper behind it. Uh, it it's very simple, which isn't bad. It does have a lot going on despite the fact that I didn't add much to it. But yeah, I think it's a cute little, it's a small little journal space here. Um, you could always journal on the back, of course. But it's one more piece of ephemera to plop in a journal, should I so desire. I like it. I just feel like it's needing something. While I think about that, I'm going to move on to the next one. All right, I decided to do one of these grayish blue pieces next. I think I will utilize some of this that I pulled out for the other one. I like this. And I think I'll put a bigger piece down here, maybe. Yeah, I'll just... Bigger piece down here like that. And then I think I'm gonna stamp on it. Although I don't like all these white bits. Yeah, I like that a lot, and I think, like I said, I'm going to stamp. Alright, I th think I've got it figured out. I'm going to stamp this. I think I'm going to stamp it on another piece of paper and stick it right here in the middle. And then this border, you don't want to focus on. This border here is very similar to this one here. So I think I'm going to do that down the side, at least one side, maybe both. Maybe I'll do it all the way around. Yeah, I got to figure out what I'm going to do that on. I kind of like the idea of it being on this. I think that would sit well and just do it kind of light. All right. And I don't want to put it on that one. Mm -mm. Yeah, look at here. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. I will use the brown. I know I have a brown somewhere. I have this, which is, I think, a brown color. It doesn't say. Yeah, it does. Chocolate brown. Right there. Ooh, I like that. Yes, I do. 
do I do I do? Ooh. Okay, so where are my scissors hiding? Yes, my cuts are not straight. I like that a lot, actually. I dig it. I think that was a good call. So now we gotta boot. <laughs> I think it is done and that's one more thing down that I didn't have before that is readily available for me to just go sloop I'm just gonna go in this pocket and there we go I like it simple oh, there it is there there you go I like it it's simple they're both pretty simple I got to play around with some stamps so there's two out of the four I think I'm going to make today. I like them. I think they get the job done. All right. Let me figure out what the next one is going to be. Now for the third one, I found these clocks. And I think I like... One of these sheets that I've printed out words on. The perfect moment is now. I think I'm going to use that with this because clocks. And I have this piece of vellum with these gold accent flowers on it. I think I might back that in this. I don't like how white this is though, so that may be an issue that I have to figure out how to handle. We'll see. All right, anyway, I like these cogs. I think I want to cut one of these out to be the main timepiece, like the main focal point. So I think I'll tear out these cogs. And use them up here. Part of me kind of just wants to put this whole thing on there. I like that. And then one of these time pieces, and then my words. All right, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> In the same paper pack, I found the clocks, and I think I like the red more, because it's almost the same red as what's in the clock, and then if I put this on it, I think it mirrors that, as opposed to this being too much brown. I never thought I would say. 
yeah. So we're going to back it on the red. another one down. I like it a lot. All right, so far I don't have much, but bear with me. I want to use this to cover this entire card because it's gorgeous. And then I'm going to take these longer flowers and cut around them and leave some of the border around them and stick them on here, I think. And from there, I'm not really sure. I'll have to see what it looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is do this baby down. Alright, I rounded the corners on this one because I thought it would be pretty. And then... I wasn't sure what to do with it until I went back through my list of quotes. This one says, Earth laughs in flowers, and it's just too good and on theme for me to pass it up. I also considered my garden as my happy place, but... This one won in the end. All right, Earth Laughs in Flowers. I think I'm gonna use this to back it because it's, they're both, it's both, it's a muted color. So let me just glue this down. So I have that. I will probably put it near the bottom because I don't want to cover up the really awesome flowers. And I have played with some die cuts, some butterfly die cuts on some really um, muted toned paper. It's like a really thick cardstock type paper. And I think I just want to put a few butterflies around. I almost copped out and left that one as it was because I was having a hard time finding something beautiful enough to go with this background. I didn't want to detract from it, and I think this works. I think it works. The butterflies are muted, more muted than the flowers even, so they don't really distract from the beautiful background, which is what I was going for. I almost copped out, but I didn't. I came through in the zero hour. So, yes, I think this one might be my favorite. Well, there we have it. My four pieces of ephemera for junk journal pockets. Um, that way, like I said, as I am making my junk journal, I can just go through what I have pre-made and stick it in a pocket if I'm feeling like it that day. Sometimes I like to make the things to go in the pockets while I'm making the pages up. It, it varies, it depends on my mood, but I was really feeling like making some ephemera today just to have on hand, and I'm glad I did. This was a lot of fun. They're each a little different, a little the same. I dig it. I dig it a lot. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you were inspired to make some of your own, you know, paper crafting pieces like these or whatever. If you do paper crafting, let me know in the comments um, what exactly you do, if you junk journal, if you scrapbook, what, what have you. Um, which one is your favorite? Let me know that also. I would love to get some input. Did you enjoy the video? Do you want to see more of this sort of thing? Um, this is kind of my current obsession, and so I hope you obsess with me. <laughs> I hope you appreciate my obsession. Because um, it'll... I'm going to do it anyway, but knowing that you're getting some enjoyment out of it would uh, really make me happy. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.